How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. In today's video, we're going to be going over consistency. In a workflow sense, consistency refers to the ability to stick with one project and commit to it. Throughout my artistic career, I've worked on many manga projects, many of which never made it past the storyboard phase. In this video, we're going to be speaking with Chris Burns, the creator of the book series Chikara Power of God, and uncovering what it takes to stay consistent with comics and manga. Chris has released three books of his manga series Chikara Power of God. They are available for purchase as ebooks and physical paperbacks. I'll leave all of Chris's social media links and product links down in the description below. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because we are going to be hearing first-hand advice for choosing a single story idea and sticking with it. By the end of this video, you'll know why being consistent is so important as a comic and manga creator. Let's jump right into it. My name is Christopher Burns. I'm the creator and artist of Chikara Power of God, a biblical shonen fantasy. If you want to know more about me officially, where I kind of grew up, how I got into manga, all that stuff, it can be found in my links on my Instagram. For me personally, I like to describe consistency as doing something pertaining to your craft. Maybe not it being identical or the exact same thing over and over again, but doing something pertaining to what you're working on that helps you get better and helps you progress rather than stay stagnant or um, move backwards every day work on something whether it's you know like it's something little or something big just always work on something that's pertaining to whatever you're trying to do being consistent is important when it comes to creating comics and manga because you're dedicating so much of your time into creating your world you want to make sure your love for your project stays strong for however long you plan to work on it it's very easy to be tempted into switching projects entirely especially as a younger more inexperienced comic artist it's very easy to just scrap an idea because you're bored of it or no longer like it. It's hard to settle on one idea and commit yourself to developing it. Remember, you could be working on this project for years, so it's important to know what you want out of your experience creating comics and manga. There's nothing wrong with experimenting, especially when you're just starting out. Like I said earlier, there were times when I would switch comic projects every week. The more you create and the more you practice, the more you will improve. The only way you're going to get better at creating comics and manga is to go out there and try creating comics and manga. The most important thing is to have fun, make mistakes, and learn from your experiences. Eventually, when you become more confident in your art skills and storytelling abilities, you'll be ready to commit to one idea and run with it. You have all the time in the world to improve, so always keep creating. How do I stay consistent with my current series? So I started it in 2018. I get ideas all the time. I have like probably a whole notepad full of just uh, maybe five or six just different story ideas that I've developed since high school that I eventually might work on. I, I might not. I might work on something else. But I know it is it's, it's a struggle for creative people to stick with one thing. At least it is for me. Some people, you know, like make one idea and they're just like, I love it. I'm sticking with it. You know, they're, they're fine. But for me, when I first started out, it was a lot of doubt. And that's what kind of caused me to almost work on something else. It was, is this story good enough? How, is, is the char are the characters good enough? I was comparing myself to other people. Is it as good as A, B, and C? Is it as good as My Hero? Is it good as Attack on Titan, Naruto? Like all this kind of stuff. So... I was in my own headspace of just worry and doubt. And that's what caused me to almost, you know, be like, maybe I should work on something else or maybe I should do something else just in case this flops. But I had to kind of learn that, you know, it's good to have goals and it's good to have inspirations. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, why would I make something that's the same as, you know, Naruto or My Hero Attack on Titan or, you know, what whatever, A, B and C. And manga artists and comic artists should always be pushing themselves to make something that's different. You can have similarities, but something that's different that adds to the table and, and to the genre, whatever genre you're working on, whether it's, you know, slice of life, shonen, seinen, whatever. It's always good to to be diverse and to be different then i have my own goal I, I love my story and i've set in my mind and my heart that i want this to be something that has not been done before but also it's a story that can stand off on its own for me i personally only worked on short stories and one-off projects professionally i've had some of my one-shot comics published in a few magazines and i've won a few awards here and there but change the world is my very first attempt at professionally developing one single story idea in the past, I've tried to create ongoing manga series before, but I would only get five chapters in before scrapping it for a completely different story idea. The advice that I can provide comes from being consistent as a manga artist in general. I hear a lot of people in my comment section saying things like, I'm going to create a comic when I get better at drawing, or when I graduate high school I plan on starting my comic. I've even heard some people saying that they're going to move to Japan first and then start to make manga when they get there, 
As someone who has created professional comics in the past, I just want to emphasize the importance of just getting out there and creating something. Even if you don't think your writing or art skills are up to par yet, you need to be creating comics and manga right now if you want to create comics and manga professionally in the future. The only way you're going to get better is by doing it. From my own experience, I've improved so much just by pushing myself to produce comics and manga pages throughout my childhood. There will never be a perfect moment to start, so you need to stop making excuses and just give it a shot. Believe me, creating comics and manga pages aren't easy. You might even discover that you don't like creating them at all. The trade-off is your art and visual narrative skills will improve dramatically through continuous practice. I want people to read my story from all over the world and enjoy it and love it. You know, even if it doesn't get an anime adaptation, like that's not my end-all goal. Like If it does, cool. If not, awesome. But for me, it's to finish this series that way my friends, family... And whoever else read it can enjoy it and you know and, and it's just fun like it, and it brings to the table you know something like I said that hasn't been done before um, if the majority of people really really like it you know I'd say keep keep pushing for it and keep working on it because you never know you never know how that's gonna impact somebody you never know how that's going to affect someone's life I'm sure there was multiple times creators that were making things could have given up the creative naruto could have given up once they shot down his original idea same with kohei from my hero he could have given up he could have said ah oh, never mind this is stupid and worked on something else but you know he kept through it he pushed and now look my hero and naruto are one of the greatest if not greatest anime of all time during their you know designated eras set small realistic goals for yourself in my comment section i sometimes see people saying things like i'm gonna make a series longer and better than one piece or my goal is to get an anime someday Realistically, that's not going to happen for most people. If I'm being honest, to the people saying they want an anime adaptation of their manga, just go study animation and make one yourself. As a comic and manga artist, your focus should be on creating good comics. If you're too preoccupied worrying about other things, then you aren't going to be able to fully commit yourself to your project. I always tell beginners to take things one chapter at a time. Live in the moment and worry about how you can make your comic the best it can be right now. If you guys come up with, you know, in your opinion, a better idea than your original series, then what's stopping you from, you know, doing both? I, and I'm not trying to brag, but, you know, I work on Chikara, but I'm also getting ready to work on Lost Soul, which is a spinoff of a character in Chikara. We're in production for Lockdown, which is a horror manga. So it's like, and, and I've worked on Vereen, but it's, I've worked on all, all of those and are going to be working on, you know, two of those while working on Chikara. So there's no reason, I guess, for you to just scrap one whole idea. You know what I mean? Like if you can do do both then do both put out as much content as you can going off of that i want to get back to my point about experimentation take the time to try out different story ideas and art styles especially when you first start making comics locking yourself into one specific style or story too early could end up negatively affecting your productivity and growth let's relate this back to art styles we all know it's important to study anatomy perspective and the fundamentals of art i see a lot of amateur artists state that they don't need to change anything about their art because it's their quote-unquote art style while art is subjective, refusing to improve yourself or take criticism from others can hinder your growth. The same can be said for consistency in comics and manga. Your quote-unquote genius idea you thought of in the third grade might not be the idea you want to stick with for your whole career. Take the time to dip your toes into different genres and styles and aesthetics. The only way you're going to find your voice as a creator is by experimenting and figuring out what works for you. When artists are first starting on a story, that's when the the, the quote-unquote adrenaline's hitting. Like, man, it's new. I'm making new characters. I'm making new world environments. For me, since I have the whole story mapped out, I and I love what's going on right now in the story. But for me, that adrenaline won't kick in until the halfway point through my story. It's like you're riding a roller coaster. You're getting all the way to the, the very top before you just plunge headfirst down that hill. And that hill, that's the part I'm looking forward to. Finding a reason to stick with your story is so important. It creates a connection between you and your work that will motivate you to work on it and feel passionate about it. Maybe your story has a meaning, theme, or lesson you want to share with your reader. Maybe your characters are based on people you actually know. Maybe the events in your story are based on your own experiences. Either way, finding a reason to love your work can make staying consistent that much easier. It's harder to throw something away when it's meaningful to you. And if it isn't in the state you want it to be in right now, you can always take the time to fix it, develop it, and allow it to grow with you. I understand. I understand trying to get that golden idea, trying to get that one idea that's just, ah, it's the, it's the greatest. I'm going to roll with it forever. It's, I don't have to worry about anything ever again. But that's never going to happen. If you're a creative person, you're always going to have different ideas. You're always going to want to make something new. You're always going to be trying to make something else and just always doubt what you're at, whatever you're doing. That's just part of it. That's just part of the journey. And you have to have that willpower to kind of just break that cycle of thinking. 
Exactly. There's nothing wrong with brainstorming or coming up with different ideas. Like we mentioned earlier, you can always save those ideas for later or develop them on the side. More than likely, you're also going to spend a lot of time brainstorming ideas for your comics or manga projects. It's completely normal to drastically change story elements and characters in your project, especially during the planning phases. Just take a look at the one-shot slash pilot chapters of some of your favorite manga. Attack on Titan, Naruto, and One Piece were very different stories when they were just one-shots versus when they were picked up to become ongoing series. Brainstorming is a great way of creating things, like, you know, coming up with, should he do this, should he do that, should this story have this? There's nothing wrong with coming up with ideas and scrapping different parts, because I can tell you Chikara, Power of God, in 2018, was way different story-wise when I was originally writing it than it is now. So there's nothing wrong with coming up with new ideas to add to the story, to change it, to make it better. Nothing wrong with that. I think the reason why so many amateur creators are unable to stick with a single comic or manga idea is because they're constantly comparing their work to others. Let's face it, the grass is always going to look greener on the other side. We are our own worst critic and it's near impossible to completely satisfy yourself with anything you create. You can't let this be a crutch that prevents you from creating though. Something my publisher told me that really stuck with me is to stop striving for the perfect and settle for the good. What he means by this is that chasing that dragon, in this case the perfect story idea, is a battle that can never be won. Nothing is ever going to meet all of your expectations. However, you are more than capable of creating something good. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, you just need to create something that you like and others can appreciate. There's nothing wrong with being good. In fact, it's hard to produce good work because everyone is so preoccupied trying to be perfect. With your own stories, you can't sit down and be like, how can I make this better than Attack on Titan? So everything you write, you're going to subconsciously say, this isn't as good as Attack on Titan, therefore it's not good for me to write, scrap it. Once you've got everything written down, look at it. Is this a carbon copy of another manga? If it's not, okay, cool. Number two, do you like it? Check that off if you like it. Number three, what are you trying to convey with this story? Are you trying to convey that, you know, good conquers evil? Are you trying to convey that, you know, the underdog will always win? Are you trying to convey that? I don't don't know relationships are terrible uh, whatever your message is once you shake off those three things then you can sit back and be like okay you know let's 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 work on this you know you never know where that story is going to go you could put out something on instagram and people love it always keep your ideas i guess that's like where i'm trying to go even if at that moment you say this isn't good keep it somewhere whether it's writing it down in your phone or if you're writing it on paper keep it because you never know in the future you might want to revisit that idea you might want to rewrite it you might want to do something different and then you know at that time you might be a little bit more mature in your writing process and you might be like this is a good idea let's roll with this ask your family ask your friends ask strangers and then is this story a carbon copy do i like it and what's the message if you ask yourself those six things and go do those six things i'm telling you you'll be you guys will be sticking with more ideas and you'll be writing some really cool stuff it's easy to forget that artists we look up to are adults who have been doing what we're doing for much longer than us. We see their most famous works, but what we don't see are all the failures and ideas they scrapped along the way. Growing up in the digital age, our generation has developed a sense of urgency. We can find any information we want in seconds by using the internet. We can do our week's worth of grocery shopping in 10 minutes on our phone. Our generation, we're so used to having everything so fast. We want our, our skill set to be developed really, really fast. We want to just all of a sudden wake up and we're making manga that's really, really good. Or we're making stuff that looks amazing. But we're not thinking that these guys literally took years to develop this over other stories and just art in general to get to that point. In conclusion, don't give up on your stories. Cherish them as if they were a part of you. Take the time to really develop some of your ideas and share them with the world. We're all comic and manga artists here, so we're all in this together. I hope you were able to get some value out of this video. I want to take this moment to thank Chris for helping making this video possible. Chris, where can my audience find you? I'm more prevalent on Instagram, but I'm also on TikTok. I'm on YouTube, Facebook. And I'll be sure to link all of that down in the description below. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Mike, for having me on. I appreciate it. I hope this encouraged some of you and gets you inspired to create something else. Um, So don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, as always, guys, keep drawing, keep creating. And uh, he will see you on the next video. And I will see you later.